it's about 7.30 Thursday morning. Temperatures are uh, going to be about 15 degrees. Uh, it might increase a bit. Uh, but as you see, it's raining again. And uh, the ducks have come back to the pond. The ducklings, look at them. I was uh, just chatting to a gentleman who was videoing them as well. Uh, and one thing I've noticed is that there's one duckling that's a black colour. Um, slightly darker um, colour than the rest. I can't see him at the moment. Um, oh, there he is. Just down here. And uh, when she gets up and walks places, uh, he's always the first duckling behind her. So even ducklings have a pecking order. Aren't they so cute? It's end of June. Time for that plot tour. Yep, my hand is cutting. I keep saying I'm going to nip down to the... Uh... I hear a siren. I keep saying I'm going to nip down to the um, local town. Which is about I don't know, a half hour bus away. Hang on. Oh dear. Right, well, let's do this plot tour. Uh, start off at the, this, um, uh, start off at this end. This is the wildflower area. Uh, I did put wildflowers down here. I mean, look at, there's a few little bits here and there, but these obviously work well. Nasturtiums look nice, but I, did, I expected them to sprawl more, but it's been too dry. These strawberries I haven't really touched yet. Uh, I've left it open really for the birds and uh, there's still lots in there to do. Um, I have no idea what that is. It's obviously one of the um, squash pumpkin family, but I don't remember sticking it in. I wonder if somebody sort of planted it for me. Um, I put the wire up to uh, encourage these to grow, uh, but whether they will or not, I don't know. Let's, uh, we can only watch and wait. That one's coming out. Maybe I can get that one to grow, go up. I've got more wire if needs be. It might do. They might not. I don't know. If it doesn't, I won't put it in a post again next year. Um, fruit trees, there's nothing on them. So all those buds and stuff that we saw uh, must have been picked off by the birds. I um, I can't even see no i don't think there's a single fruit or anything here at all so i don't think that it's a case of things not growing i think it's a case that they they get pecked off maybe i can put over a uh a fruit cage maybe the same sort of um construction that i've done with the uh polytunnel See, somebody's got a big cage here. Maybe I can do the same. But it's a shame, yeah, because I would have liked... To, I'd like to know what this damn tree is. <laughs> oh, that dead branch. Yeah, not a single fruit left on there. Everything's been picked off. Oh, well. All right, so these were freebies. Uh, these are big beef tomatoes. Freebies are growing. These were from the um, the collection I planted. That one needs tying up. Uh, yep, definitely needs tying up. Uh, yeah, the melons look as though they're well, no, they're starting to go. Going to try and train them upwards. That one may be wanting to climb already. Looking good, a cucumber stuck in there, that's trailing, that's nice. More tomatoes, Velotti's doing really well. Go on, you can climb up there, mate. Leave the uh, melons to their own stand. Uh, there's another uh, cucumber, I think. Lots and lots of borage, do like me borage. Okay, so, and then there's another uh, walnut. Uh, uh, sorry, wolf and butternut squash under there. Okay, so that's the, the fruit. Uh, now, I did say to one of my neighbours, uh, Nigel, 
uh, that you can come and have loads of strawberries if you want. Just lift it up, take as many strawberries as you like, and take it away. And a few moments later, he came back and said, somebody's given him a couple of uh, gooseberries in pots. He says uh, he doesn't like gooseberries that much, so one one was probably more than enough. Um, they've all all the fruits gone on these now, but he said, "Did I want it for next year?" It's like, yeah, of course I want it for next year. So I've got a free gooseberry. Um, again, all of the fruit has disappeared, so obviously the birds are having the fruit off. So I reckon I definitely need to have some sort of fruit cage. So I'll, uh, I'll consider what I do. Yeah, definitely consider it. This bank will be levelled off uh, for next year and um, I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, I've got a lot of thinking to do how I want this end part. Right, moving on. These are looking... Pretty decent little herb garden there and it's okay this is uh i'm trying to get wild flowers and things to grow there the the irises have all gone didn't last long uh grass didn't really grow back much but you know we can see it's getting there lots of bees around this borage i do like borage um and it's but it's been so dry these uh little hedges have just gone uh, really spartan very fast why do I say Spartans? Because, you know, Spartans were like really ferocious warriors. I suppose it's because they were hardly clad when they went into battle. Um, I think the this is the coming to an end now. Yeah, some of the leaves are dying back. Uh, but there's still plenty of fruit there. I'm going to my family home again tomorrow, so I'll come out early in the morning and pick a load. All of these potatoes are now beginning to die back. Um, so I'll have to dig these up at some point these ones haven't di started dying back yet but I think they have flowered peas are dying uh, all drying out so I think it's the end of the season for them uh, and again I'm not going to pick any to harvest I'm just going to pick them for seed peas for next year uh, and then I'm going to do something totally different this, this wire type situation all the circles just didn't work uh, some of the um runner beans that dawn sent me this and those doing well i was a bit worried that the slugs were getting them but it looks as though there's going to be enough on both sides to actually get it i might have to pinch off the growing heads <laughs> they reached the top already so i'll pinch off the growing heads and um enjoy the fruits of the labor right the these potatoes are flowering these peas are the snap peas. They're beginning to die. Look, they're beginning to get ravaged again. I'm sure it's birds, but I mean, how do birds get up here? Maybe they stand on something, I suppose so. So I'm going to rip all this down soon and use them for seed peas. Uh, there's not many weeks left in them. More blot is doing well. Oh, I missed a bit. Sweet corn, yeah, it's okay. It's it's growing. This um, this is my best um, courgette so far. It's all right, not brilliant. No raspberries this year. Uh, I guess they're all summer raspberries rather than the autumn ones. So yeah, Belot is doing well. Another courgette, tiny little small one, more. Uh, that uh, little cluster there is the um, sweet corn that Dawn sent me, which is the same uh, variety as this, which is a Swift. Although these were mine, I planted them earlier and those arrived later. So uh, these, these were the meteor peas. I've taken them out and I've put in some peppers and one chilli, I think. And again, I've had very, very poor growth on the, the peppers from what I germinated. Traditional master choke's doing well. Lots of uh, flowers and <laughs> weeds because I really don't know uh, what's a weed. I mean, they're all going to flower. So, um, yeah, 
some nice here. I mean, I'm learning. I, I think next year I'm going to have to bit do um, some a proper border rather than like just sprinkle stuff around, and I'll just keep it weeded, and then just do the border plants. We'll see. It's, I mean, there's still plenty of weeks left, but of course it's been so dry. I haven't had the best germination from the seeds that I've put down. We'll just have to watch. All right, carrying on. Uh, the bush beans that Dawn provided. Uh, all of these are, are now doing all right, but there's one there that hasn't done anything. Uh, and unfortunately, that was the only one that didn't get eaten slugs on that particular variety. This lettuce is done, but I'll take some of it over to my uh, family house for, well, these ones are all right. These ones um, have uh, obviously gone to seed. Uh, I'll leave a couple in to uh, produce seeds for me, but the others are all gonna be guinea pig food. The, some of this beetroot obviously gone to seed as well, bolted. Oh, oh. No, it's not that funny. Um, bolted, not headed up. So again, this will be that's some of the leaves I'll keep. Good salad leaves, baby leaves. Yeah, it tastes fine. I haven't gone um, bitter or anything. Uh, but the rest will go for guinea pig food. And there's plenty of them. Plenty of weeds as well. Apparently you can eat these. I'm not going to bother though. I've got everything else to eat. Um, again, these radish were awful. I collected some of them the other day. But I'm guessing it's the um, how dry it is that they are absolutely um, yeah no it didn't that absolutely look look at that horrible absolutely they're all like this and I'm guessing it's because it's been so dry look at that just hollow and soft so, and they're all like it. So again, I'll leave them to go to seed, grab some seeds off them, and then hopefully next year I can keep them watered a bit better. Um, pole beans that, that we call runner beans seem to be doing well. More bush beans. French beans are doing really well. Again, I'm going to have to start uh, breaking off these uh, growing tips uh, so that they actually cut, start concentrating on... Uh, bushing out and getting flowers and there's two lots of those all the same uh, field beans now coming to an end of course falling over everything um, and as soon as they start drying out I'll harvest them uh, but, I mean they're all falling over everything else now so it's not gonna, it's not a good sign um, yeah some but these are these are later ones so I'll, uh, those ones are, um, I, I mean, let's face it, it's been a really good year for field beans. So I'm really pleased. Uh, broad beans, unfortunately, these have had a really bad infestation. You can see I've killed off all, most, a lot of them, but they keep coming back. And as a result, no beans. Look, just a few uh, straggling ones down the bottom. However, at the other end, there's been no damage and uh, we're going to get a better crop. This other type and it is again mixed results and really good results here. But some of them have had uh, bad... Oh, this weed. Get out. Uh, some of them had bad um, experiences with the old black fly. Not so much going to come out of those ones but should be enough for a really good selection of seed beans for next year. That's that's my main intention for this year, is to get good beans for next year. And then I'll um, do a much more wiser approach. This uh, stuff is absolutely useless. Um, it was a purchase from Lidl's. I think it was about £3.50 for all of this. But it just tears. It's awful stuff. What I'll probably do is invest in some proper Enviro mesh for next year. I've got some coming which is going to be for the windows, which is that hole, that hole, and I'm going to do another one over here probably on this side um, for the windows for the poly tunnel. Uh, but if it's rubbish, then I won't uh, get it again. Um, this is looking good. 
parsnips, carrots, fennel. Uh, there are some parsnips that uh, come through on this direct sown, uh, and the, but the carrots at the back are doing all right. But this is a, another. This is a load of spinach that I grew over winter. Uh, it grew again, but it's gone straight bolted straight to seed. But there are still some leaves and things that uh, I can actually still harvest, uh, which is great. Uh, these were freebie onions, they're doing all right. Um, kohlrabi, absolutely stunning, look. Really pleased with the way that these are going. Never grown it before. Probably don't like the taste, but there we go. Got some curly kale in there as well. Uh, shard, not so good. Some of it's gone to seed, I've taken that out. But this rest of it is looking really healthy. What I'm going to start doing is harvesting a little bit each time I come down. Some of it I can use as baby leaves in salad. The rest of it I'll freeze for when I start making stews and um, stir fries for later on. Uh, fennel, not fennel. Uh, celery. I didn't do too much celery, I'm not a fan. What I'll do is freeze it for um, soups and um, stews. Uh, leeks. Some more shard, later variety. Uh, some more filled beans that were left over. Uh, some spring onions and a couple of carrots have got mixed up there. Some more, uh, these were elephant uh, leeks, but I don't know if they're going to come out. Some turnips, uh, I've uh, already harvested a couple and tried it in salad. It's all right. Um, it's okay. You know, it, it adds a bit of a tang, but um, I can live with it. So yeah, I'll carry on grating it into... Pardon you. Uh, so I'll carry on grating it into the... Um, uh, salads, more beetroot, oh look at this mess, this was perpetual spinach which is actually a beet, that hasn't done very well at, at all, this was a, America, or is it Atlantic, this is Atlantic spinach, all gone to seed, not done very well at all, so I'm going to have to um, pop a bit more into um, germinate and I'll keep put it into the polytunnel later on for over wintering or having a late winter tomatoes doing really well i've actually got some tomatoes showing uh, i think these are elisa craigs uh, the rest are okay uh, the rest are i think just romas or plums there yeah. i need to get them into there's another one with some tomatoes on I need to get them some sticks, which I've got. Uh, I just need to stick them in. Uh, so that's all that section. Now my wonderful, beautiful section here um, of brassicas. Um, these are beetroot, nice and big. I've already had quite a few beetroot out. Uh, and I've actually pickled a jar. And some more of the freebie onions that we were given. Potatoes, these were charlottes. Uh, they've just flowering. Um, this is purple sprout and broccoli. Look, I need to harvest. I'll start harvesting. Great. I think it's going to go to bolting, but what can you do? Uh, these were radish. These are all going bolting now, going to seed. Uh, it's calabrese. But look at this. I can take some of this out. Look at that. It's, it looks a funny green colour in the camera, but it's actually a good. So I need to uh, harvest some of these. They may actually produce more. I think if you cross the tops, they harvest more. Um, some cauliflowers. I didn't actually know I was planting cauliflowers. This was what a friend gave me. He, he said they were uh, something else, but they're actually cauliflowers. What I'll do is I'll get an elastic band, cover over the top so they uh, bleach. Um, this is, that's some more purple sprout and broccoli. Uh, this is um, a kale. I remember the name for a minute, I'll come back to you. Um, some more purple sprout and broccoli, some more uh, calabrese brassicas. Again, you can see there's some good heads out there. Uh, some more purple sprout and broccoli, and there's one or two with uh, heads. Uh, some more um, broccoli, uh, these are uh, brussels and there is another brussels here somewhere, 
Oh, I think this is it, and there's some up there as well. And these are Brussels over here. Oh, sorry, these aren't purple sprouted broccoli, these are Brussels. So there's a, a good mix there. Some more of the courgettes. I'm not going to have courgettes, a big sick of courgettes soon. Uh, these we'll put in later. Some more uh, carrots. These will probably need to start being thin soon. Stop. Yeah, the, it's, it's, the, because it's so dry, it's like concrete there. Uh, my um, drying out uh, what are they? Uh, they're drying out <laughs> shallots. I'm going by me drying out shallots, and finally, uh, some more of the tomatoes I bought down. These are going spaces as I drag out stuff like the spinach. I'm going to take that out, I'll put those in. Uh, these are all the sacks of. Uh, potatoes that have died back uh, I'm disappointed uh, to be honest I watered them every night but when I got down to actually empty them out they were stone dry at the bottom it just wasn't enough water this is why I need a hose um, there just isn't enough water that I can keep carrying back I mean each one of these should take up a, a whole watering can each just to make sure they um, they get dry. I'm hoping that the, the water, the rain that we're having, will help these ones. These are just starting to flow on now. The recent rains actually produced lots of um, more um, weeds, which will need to be done. This bed was for the asparagus that I've got growing at home, it won't be long. And I think that is about the end of the tour. I am. Um, I did move that box across to the corner, which is great this month. Uh, another load of Jerusalem artichokes. Yeah, it's been a really, really bad year for some things because of this um, early heat. It's going to be been the warmest June on record ever, uh, and with hardly any rain. So, hasn't really been a very good start to the growing season now what we want is a nice warm June with lots of rain to help the growth and then uh, a nice hot July and August with less rain but enough to get the harvest to get the, the golden off or brown off or, or turn red or whatever the uh, you're meant to do with it um, so yeah all in all though, I'm pretty pleased with a lot of things, especially the brassica side of things, you know, they're going really well. And as I say, I'll start uh, next week, I'll come down, I'll harvest the purple sprout in, harvest the calabrese, get all those blanched and in the freezer. Because uh, I'm still eating so much salad at the moment. Um, you know, it'd be, I don't need to have like uh, stews and, and things. Oh, they're lovely. Again, a gift from another pot holder. This area was meant to be potatoes, but didn't come up. So uh, I'll make better use of this next year. I don't know what that is. If, if that's a, where's my tree cabbage? I put one tree cabbage over in the middle and there's one here somewhere. I think that's it there. That one there. But, uh, yeah, really strange. More calabrese. Yeah, so uh, some huge ones. This netting has done really well. It's not only kept the um, sun off the plants, and obviously all the other things that you keep the netting for, um, such as keeping the birds and the uh, cabbage whites off but the actual uh, netting itself has reduced the amount of sunlight on the plant so it doesn't get scorched it's reduced the wind across the soil so it doesn't evaporate and keeps the water in it's done well it's done really well uh, all this two hours later it's actually uh, about I don't know five hours later 
Um, yeah, I um, my friend decided to come across it. But let me show you. Hang on, whoop, whoop, whoop. Swap you around. Yeah, he brought me some more greens. Just what I need. Not really sure what they are, and I don't really have any anywhere uh, nice to put them. He didn't say what they were. And this looks like some leeks here. So what I'm going to do, I'll pop those uh, in this section under here, in this bit here. And hopefully that will keep the birds off them. Um, keep the string and stuff. Uh, the leeks I'll probably pop uh, in a row over there. Underneath there as well. Right, so let me turn you back because of each. Yeah, um... stuff but it's all falling down I've got an, I've got some more so I'll put it up tomorrow um, hopefully overnight ladybirds mm, strange ones hang on yeah look weirdos um, and I know what that is that's a ladybird baby I think anyway uh, yeah that's uh, that's all split so I'll put some more up tomorrow I can't be I can't be asked doing it now right it's me! Uh, yeah, so good and bad. Brassicas, uh, which are going to be really important for those cold winter days and nights, doing so well. I shall have lots of stuff in the freezer, which I'm really pleased about. Tomatoes doing well. Spinach, not so good. Beetroot, I'm getting a lot, so that's okay. Turnips are okay. Uh, shard, good and bad. Kohlrabi, brilliant. Um, carrots and parsnips look okay. Beans look brilliant. Uh, lettuce, I've had some. More's going to go to seed, but uh, it should be right. Peas, disappointing. I'm getting enough to do a, a very good um, selection of seed peas for next year. Just nothing to put in the freezer for this year. Strawberries, incredible. Having a really good time. Corn, slow, but should be there. Courgettes, okay. Um, melons, we don't know. Butternut squash, looking good. Um, and, uh, you know, and all the extra stuff, like the Jerusalem artichokes and potatoes and all the things I didn't expect this year. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm... I'm, I'm disappointed with some of the stuff uh, but otherwise yeah pretty good so if you're enjoying the videos please subscribe uh, click the like button uh, it does help us and uh, I'll see you again soon